Andrew Garfield flat out denies being involved in Spider-Man No Way Home. What? The best geek news. Happy Star Wars Day. Hello, hello. During a new interview on the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast, when asked about appearing in Spider-Man No Way Home, Andrew Garfield shot down the rumors he's involved, saying despite him seeing the rumors pop up all the time and trending on Twitter, he quote, hasn't received a call. I don't know if you've ever seen a man lie straight to the camera for two whole minutes, but if you haven't, it's fascinating. And I recommend you check out the whole interview. How dare you, Andrew? How dare I? How dare you? No, but seriously, Andrew's in a damned if you do, damned if you don't scenario here. I mean, what can he say? He can't say yes if he wants it to be a surprise, even if he pleads the fifth. At this point, that'll be taken by the internet as a resounding yes. So he really has no option other than to just lie to our faces. And we've got no option but to not believe him. Tell me in the comments if you think Andrew is fibbing to us or not. You lied to me. Now, Alfred Molina, that guy don't give a damn about spoiling things for people. He's the one you want to talk to if you want questions answered. Very well. Last night during ESPN's Age of Heroes event, which had something to do with basketball, I heard, Marvel debuted about 45 seconds of new footage from Loki. I feel like at this point, you're either on board with Loki or you're not. I can't imagine that 45 seconds of new footage would change your mind, but maybe I'm wrong. Well, you're not wrong. As you well ought to know by now, it's Star Wars Day and Disney commemorated by releasing the 70 minute premiere episode of Lucasfilm Animation's latest Star Wars series, Star Wars The Bad Batch on Disney+. Plus. The show picks up where Star Wars The Clone Wars left off, taking the deviant troopers of Clone Force 99 into the early days of the Galactic Empire. With the episode now live, reviews are also popping up, and thus far the show is sitting on Rotten Tomatoes with a 99% score, so it looks like Disney Plus is still batting a thousand. That's good news. You Sons of Anarchy fans out there will be happy to know that ahead of the show's season 3 finale, FX has announced they have officially picked up Mayans MC for a fourth season. Also, a few days ago, you guys might remember I talked about that little rumor that NetherRealm Studios is working on a Marvel game. Well, we still don't know if they are or not, but creator Ed Boon certainly seems to be teasing the idea further and stoking the flames. Which honestly, pretty cruel if you guys aren't in fact working on a Marvel fighting game right now. Why are you so mean? Hope you enjoyed the show. Follow me on Twitter at Chris Killian or Instagram at CK Comedy. Make sure you like the video for support, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our other videos.